A car moving along a straight highway with a speed of 126 km per hour is brought to stop within a distance of 200 meters. What is the retardation of the car and how long does it take for the car to come to rest? See, in this problem, you need to find out the retardation of the car, that is the negative acceleration of the car, and how long the car will tra travel after the application of the brakes. It's given that the initial velocity of the car, which is represented by V0 or sometimes by U, is 126 km per hour. And x is equal to 200 meters. That is, the car will travel a distance of 200 meters after the brakes are applied. And what do you want to find? We want to find, as I already told you, the retardation or the negative acceleration of the car, that is A, and the time required by the car to come to rest after the application of the brakes, that is T in seconds. Now, first we need to convert this 126 km per hour into meters per second. Now, to convert, just multiply 126 by 5 by 18. 126 into 5 by 18. 18 sevens are 126, so 7 into 5. That is equal to 35 meters per second. Now, let's use the formula V square minus V naught square equals 2AX to find out the retardation, where V is the final velocity of the car and X is the distance traveled by the car during the application of the brakes to come to rest. Now, here V is equal to 0, obviously, because the car is coming to rest, therefore its final velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 35 meters per second and it has traveled a distance of 200 meters and we need to find the acceleration. Now let us substitute these values in the equation v square minus v naught square is equal to 2ax. Now remember the values, final velocity v is 0, therefore it is 0 square minus 35 square is equal to 2 into a into 200. Now simplifying, 35 square gives 1225 and 2 into a into 200 is 400 a equals minus 1225 or a is equal to minus 1225 divided by 400 or a is equal to minus 3.0625 meters per second square. Now this is the acceleration, the negative acceleration or retardation. Now to find how long the car will stop after the application of the brakes, use the formula, the first law of motion, V is equal to V0 plus AT. Now the different values here are V is equal to 0, which is the final velocity. V0 is the initial velocity of the car, which is 35 meters per second. A is the retardation, which we just now found it as 3.0625 meters per second square. Of course, it is negative in nature. And T is what we need to find. Now substituting these values in the above formula, we get, now let's substitute, 0 is equal to, because V is 0, 35 plus of minus 3.0625 into T or minus 3.0625 T is equal to minus 35 on shifting 35 to RHS, minus sign cancel on both sides, therefore T is equal to 35 by 3.0625 which is equal to 11.42 seconds. Now let's summarize what all we have discussed in this problem. There is a car moving at a speed of 126 kilometers per hour, that is 35 meters per second. Now the driver of the car applies the brake. So after traveling a certain distance, the car will come to rest. In this case, it is given that the car will travel a distance of 200 meters after the brakes are applied. And since the brakes are applied, the car is slowing down, its final velocity is coming to zero. Therefore, the, now the car is acted by negative acceleration because its velocity keeps on decreasing because the brakes are applied. We have been asked to find this negative retardation value, which we found it as minus 3.0625 meters per second square. And it is also asked that how long the car will travel after the brakes are applied because see once the brakes are applied, the car will slow down and after some time only it will come to rest. It won't come to rest instantaneously unless the brakes are applied very fast under very serious conditions. But normal method is to stop the car by slowly applying the brakes. So car will take some time to come to rest. Now here, the car has taken a time of 11.42 seconds to come to rest 
or the final velocity of the car will become zero after 11.42 seconds. Now this is a very important problem for the from the point of view of examination. This is a problem for five marks, a very important problem in motion in a straight line. Practice this problem well.